uh, lots of traction on this one for uh, the former president in social media. He had an interesting meeting with the BLF. Yes, and it was a thank you visit by the BLF to President Jacob Zuma in Durban. And the BLF says that they went to thank him for economic transformation, for radical economic transformation. And essentially, this is a policy of the ANC. So it's difficult to see how the BLF thanks former President Jacob Zuma for it. Um, but nonetheless, this is what they did. Um, and at the meeting, they presented the former president with a shield and a spear, two literal objects. Um, and they said that they would continue to fight for radical economic transformation, um, but they would also continue to protect radical economic transformation. And if you look at the visuals of the meetings, it seems as if Zuma was uh, happy to have them, uh, shared a few jokes with them, uh, as he usually does, um, and then said uh, that he believes he'll see them in Parliament and he'll be watching them from home. All right, let's take a look at that interaction. We are saying symbolically, let's continue with the fight. We are going to continue with this fight. We are going to protect ourselves. We are going to unite our people. We are going to make sure the vision becomes real. And so what's the ANC actually saying about this? Looks like they're quite hesitant to dip into the controversy, which is obviously on social media. Um, so the ANC has a constitution which sets out how its members could, should act. But its Secretary General, Es Makhashul, is saying today um, at that NEC meeting that he receives requests for meetings with the ANC all the time. He'll be meeting with the African Independence Congress um, as well as the Pan-Africanist Congress, and he doesn't see anything wrong with it. Of course, the Secretary General was referring to organizations who'd requested the ANC to meet on a organization to organization um, level and this was a meeting of its former president um, with another political body which is of course if you look at the ANC constitution um, it straddles on being in violation thereof because the constitution says that ANC members should not be found um, to be in collaboration with, with what it terms counter-revolutionary forces so if the ANC believes that former president Jacob Zuma didn't um, violate the constitution then it's in effect saying that it doesn't consider the BLF to be counter-revolutionary. So no action against him, of course. But on a separate issue, Govan, uh, there have been calls for the BLF not to contest the elections. What's the IEC saying about that? Right, so we heard this coming from the Freedom Front Plus. Um, uh, we also saw some uh, criticism of the BLF from uh, SANEF in the past, as well as just general comments from the public questioning why they would be allowed to contest. But the IEC has told us that, as things stand, they have not received any formal objections to the BLF's participation um, in the elections. Of course, that deadline, that deadline lapses tomorrow, so that's when they'll make the final decision. But as things stand, um, of course, the, the IEC is saying there's no reason why the BLF can't contest the elections. And as things stand, just to bring it back, for Former President Jacob Zuma saying that he's taken this meeting with the BLF, but when asked about it, he says that he remains a loyal member of the ANC. So just making sure that he puts that out there in case people were wondering if he had switched allegiances.